Hey guys, and welcome back to Bioshock. Last time she died, and we learned how to make the Lazarus Vector, so we're gonna go and do that. So, um, oh man, the hell. All right, fine. I guess I'll go ahead and try out the chemical thrower. So yeah, you see how fast the fuel's going down? I just used like 70 fuel just to do that little bit. It's crazy. So seriously, don't use it. Okay. Because <laughs> I caught the barrel on fire. I knew that was going to happen. Um, electric buck. No, it's not worth using right now. Oh, wait a minute. It kind of is, isn't it? Now, you're going to really want to use um, your electro bolt here so you can um, hack these machines. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of turrets and a couple of security cameras in here. You're really going to want to hack these. These are very, very, very useful for an upcoming fight. So, yeah, you want to do this. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh! No, no, no. This one. And then this one. And then... Crap, I need another different one. Ah, there it is right there. Damn, that was lucky. Oh, stop. Man, my eye is itching so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, here's a vertical one, I think. Okay, good. Jeez. Ah, ah, no. Ah. Okay, jeez. I am sorry, my eye is itching so bad that I, well, actually I had to, like, take my glasses off and, and like, scratch it. Otherwise, I was not going to be able to see. Ugh. I just fully accept that I'm horrible at this game now. Oh, my God. It's like, oh, dude, dude, walk up to the turret. Holy crap. Look at all these horizontal ones, man. Um, but yeah, I just fully accept that I am just that I am terrible at this game now. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. There we go. That's it. Um, because oh my god, I just gotta like very very slowly walk up to the turret and then zap it and then hack it. So I'm gonna be taking like all kinds of damage from these things. Um, there's a big daddy in here. If you want to use him. Um, if you want to use him to help with the combat later, uh, feel free to. He's very helpful. So, yeah. Uh, yet another one like this. Okay. Oh, no, no. Go down. There we go. Jeez. Okay. I need to find all of... Oh, my God. Okay, so I got to go over the top. Well, it's good to know that. Um, vertical. Vertical. May as well just get all the verticals, right? Um, do I even have enough horizontals? I think I do. Uh, yeah. Ooh, just barely. Man. Good. Okay. Now, I believe there's one more. Whoa, whoa. Get out of here. Hey, don't destroy my turret. Get out of here. How you doing, man? You okay? <laughs> Hope you are. Okay, plenty of chlorophyll solution. So, okay, you get two turrets and a security camera to call in robots. You definitely want to hack all of those. It's very, very useful. Um, and then I guess that's pretty much it. But we do have the market key now, so we can go to the market. That's where we need to go next. Arcadia is a big place, but mostly rural. If you're looking for something in particular... In the farmer's market. I don't know. I just like the way he says farmer, you know, farmer's market. In the farmer's market. No. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that. Jeez. Oh, and the other thing that was really fun is that last night, um, I, um, me and my friends and my brother, uh, we have a D&D &D session going on. I'm the DM, and, um, last night, uh, we just started a new campaign where I'm getting to play. So that was really, really fun. I'm digging the hell out of playing. Uh, we're doing like a, uh, we're doing like a monster campaign where all the PCs or all the characters are monsters. I mean, all the player characters are monsters. It's kind of an evil campaign. So yeah, that was fun. Um, I'm playing as a no, like I'm, we're playing fourth edition. Um, whoop. Damn it. Uh, platforming in this game kind of sucks because your character takes so long to start moving. Um, 
Oh, I am playing as a Null Warlord. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just booze up here. Lame. Um, and rotten pumpkins, apparently. Um, I'm playing as a Null Warlord, and my thing is, uh, right now, at least, I eat people a lot. And the funny thing is that, uh, like, in the very first dungeon, we were talking to, like, a big quest giver guy. He's, like, evil. Uh, he's working for the main big bad slash big good. And, um, it was funny because this is an alternate dimension to our current campaign, but he, the guy we talked to, like, the top of a tower, the first dungeon, um, he, like, oh, he killed the three main player characters from the normal campaign, you know, the normal good campaign. And they were just lying on the ground there. I was like, wait, are these guys, what were their names? It's like, oh, it was this guy and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> it killed our old characters or their old characters. So I thought that was really funny. So, um, chemical thrower consumption rate. It basically reduces the ammunition that you use when you fire it. So it's very, very good. Um, but the funny, the really, really funny thing was that because I'm a null, if you know what a null is, it's basically like a hyena man. Um, basically, like literally imagine the hyena skin for Warwick. That's basically what, um, a null is. Like, literally. Um, go ahead and get some napalm. Um, oh, jeez. Ah! Okay. It, it literally just imagine the hyena skin for Warwick. So th my thing is that I eat people like a lot. I eat people's bodies a lot. Um, and the really funny thing was I didn't really need to roll for it, but I rolled for eating one of the old PC's bodies and I critted and the guy, he was playing like a Tifling, which is like a half-demon, half-human thing. So, I critted on eating him, and the DM was like, okay, you eat him, and because you crit, you gain another action point. <laughs> Until you use it, you gain like a temporary action point. You know, so like, once I use it, um, it goes away permanently, but I thought that was really funny. So now I'm like, okay, now I just gotta start eating everybody and just hope I crit. You know, because I could walk out of there within a free action point. So that was really, really funny. But yeah, I'm having so much fun playing. It's just so awesome. Okay. Because, of course, you know, I've been uh, DMing their session uh, or their campaign for the past, I don't even know how long, like five or six or seven months or so. So now that I finally get to play, I am like a total noob and I'm, I'm like kind of bad. I've missed a lot. And, uh, uh. But it's fun. It's it's very fun. If you think D&D &D is stupid, trust me. Once you play it, it's really not. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maternal Instinct, I believe this one was. What makes something like me? I look at genes all day long, and never do I see the blueprint of sin. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison camp, but kindred spirits. These children I brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and natural, but in me is an abomination. My maternal instinct. Okay. So, what, now you care about them? But you've turned them into atom factories. You put friggin' slugs in their bodies. It's gross. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, just... Man! Oh, I gotta use this electric buck. Oh. Okay, yeah, a house, whatever. Anyway. So now we need to go to the farmer's market. So let's go to the farmer's market. I don't even know how I could spell it. I don't know how I could spell that word in the title to make it imply that I'm saying it as Farmer's Market. Fair? Farmer's Market. I don't even know. <laughs> oh. The Farmer's Market. I'm going to probably say that a lot. I'm probably going to always refer to it as Farmer's Market instead of Farmer's Market. Just because. Just because of the way Atlas said it.
I've all even when I was a kid, or even when I was okay, maybe not a kid, but even when I was younger and I played this for it the first time, I always thought it was really funny the way he said that. And I know it's just his accent, but it just sounds kind of funny, you know. Okay. Jesus, so many audio logs. B, B enzyme. Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm going to have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur. But I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. What do you guys need honey down here for? Oh, an enzyme sample. Okay, so that's what we need. We need six more. Okay, so... Uh, there's the Worley Brewery, um, the Farmer's Market. There's actually quite a lot of stuff here, so you're going to be here a while. Okay, Farmer's Market. Oh, now, wait a minute. Oh, okay. What the hell? You started firing even before you were here. That's cheap. But yeah, see, that's what happens when you have that bonus. Like, it just takes forever for them to appear, see? No! No, no, what the hell? Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do! Damn it, I didn't want to... Ah, alright, fine. Something happened. I tried to zap it so I could hack it, but no. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So here we are in the farmer's market. Ugh, I just need to stop that. You know what? I'm not even going to hack these things. I don't care. I'm just going to shoot them. Electric buck. Because I'm not using it for anything, so why not? Oh, geez, that spark texture is really bad. <laughs> That's like Minecraft textures right there. Um, no. No. I don't care. I'm not using the electric buck for anything, so I may as well just go ahead and use it. Oh, by the way. Whoop. the hell was that all about? Can I search it? No. Um, if you come up here and walk along this little banister here, Who's that? You want and jump, and you can get all the way up here, and there's a crawl space door. You just gotta be careful that you go around it and not off the little thing. And you get two automatic hack tools and three proximity mines. And I can only pick up one. So yeah, uh, don't forget about those. Those are very useful. And also a safe. You know what I'm gonna do? Auto hack. Ding. Ow! What the hell? Get out of here. Ooh, wow. Nice. That was a good research. Okay. Oh, did, well, you know what I mean, research. <laughs> um. Ew, that looks gross. It looks like fish. Ugh, I hate fish. Oh! Cool. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Aha! Little sisters! Whoa! <laughs> Lord the Big Daddy. Uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the Big Daddy. Yep. Increased damage too. Oh, thank God. That helps. Okay. Oh, there's so much research. I'm sorry if this is annoying. Trust me, it's not very fun for me either. Just like whenever I see somebody, I... Oh, now that's a cool shot. They're actually like... Lifting her up. Whoop! Boom! Boom! There we go. That was easy. Oh, you're fine. Get over here. Get over here! No! 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Mm. Or stop that now. Oh wow, it was only one. Thank you, Mister. Thank okay. You. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That was really easy. That bonus damage was crazy. Although I think I probably did all that damage because I uh, I shot that grenade right next to a pair of gas tanks. That's probably what did it. Uh, let's see. I guess um. Something else is going to be coming up here pretty soon. I'm going to be going to space in TechIt. So, yeah, that'll be really cool. I'm very excited about going to space. Um, 
I think I have everything ready to go. I'm not actually 100% sure or sure what I need. Um, I have a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of oxygen-related machines. I got my oxygen gear, my mask, my power armor. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait. Crap. If I just knew where that was the whole time, that wouldn't have happened. All right, hack. Auto hack because I'm too lazy to do it. Dollars, good. Films. Go away. Go away. Go away. There. What the hell? More? Come on. I really wish I had a bot shutdown panel. Come on. Making me waste all my electric buck on you, little bitches. But whatever, it's not like I was using it, you know? God, how much longer? It's a very long alarm. Go away! God! <laughs> Use up all my electric buck on these guys. That's no good. Uh. Hey, wait a minute, I know! I'll use my electric gel, because I'm not going to use that on anything else. Oh, well, it's ending now. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to use this thing now, because the, this thing is actually really fun to use once you decrease the amount of fuel that it just wastes. Armor piercing, wallet already full. Um, there's stuff back here. Money. Uh, register, I'm already full. Jeez, I got so much. I have a ton of money. It's just kind of sitting there. Ooh, hey, what's this? Desperate times. Dr. Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, Will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become of free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Geez, not that desperate, you friggin' psychopath. Man. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Don't do that. Uh, here we go. May as well just pick up some stuff, because I got so much money anyway. Uh, pick up some film. Um... Let's see. There was that auto hack tool. I need to go back and grab that before I forget that it exists. I think it was in here. Yes. Unless I already grabbed it. I really hope I didn't. Aha! No, I did not. Good. Okay. But yeah, I am almost ready to go to space. Um, I don't know how much more steel I need. Um, I have most of everything already made, and it's like ready to go. It's just sitting in a chest. I'm going to transfer it into a backpack, and I'll just bring that with me on the trip. Then I'll be able to set up my base... Um, uh, somebody asked, I forgot, uh, I'm sorry, I always forget who, who asks. Um, uh, somebody asked if I was going to do anything on dimensional doors. Um, I probably will. Um, the only reason why I'm a little bit hesitant to do it is just because I died in one of those portals and I couldn't really get any of my stuff back. So, I was a little bit hesitant to do it, but, um, I do have the books. So, if worse comes to worst... Uh, if worse comes to worse, really, I could go in there, grab what I, grab what I can find, and then just use the book if I don't remember my way back. I could just do that because I won't be going back in there if I grab everything. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um. Go ahead and. Oh wow, I'm full of napalm. Awesome. Hi. Oh come on. Yeah now. Uh, this thing doesn't have a whole ton of range, if I remember right. So you're gonna need to be, oh, you're gonna need to be a little bit careful about that. Oh, jeez. There, just died. Now let's do this. Oh, friggin' smoke! Whoop. Oh, beautiful. That was perfect. Man, I didn't even intend to hit it there. That was great. But um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, right, the books, yeah. Um, 
the stuff you need to get in the dimensional doors, uh, you need to get stuff called World Thread. And that's kind of, it's a random drop in chests. So you got to find chests in those portal areas and then um, just hope that they have some of it in there. So yeah, it can be a little bit tough to, um, you know, to actually get it. Plus you could die on the way there, so yeah. So yeah, that's the chemical thrower. It's actually really damn good. Uh, you just gotta be careful of all the bodies that you set on fire because they can still damage you when they're just burning. So yeah, be careful. Uh, open here. Big daddy body. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I can take a picture of this big daddy. Here you are. What's up? Yeah, I forgot to take pictures of him. Jeez. Oh, and there's multiple subjects in here. Good. Or somewhere. Must be a splicer behind him or something. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, all right, fine. Hey, bomb. Okay. My only problem with this weapon is just how much space it takes up. Hi. <laughs> Jackass. It's like, oh, I'm so badass. I'm gonna sit in a chair and like be waiting for him when he walks in the room, and then I just torch him in like two seconds. Moron. Um. Okay. So. Uh, Thugger Splicer, there we go. Distilled water! Yay! Good. So there's basically two places you need to go to in here in order to do everything. You gotta go to the bee, uh, the bee farm, I guess? The bee farm. Uh, you gotta go to the bee farm, and then you also got to go to the, uh, the, jeez. You gotta go to the distillery, and that's where you can get the distilled water. So yeah. Um, what the hell is this thing? Is it a machine gun? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end it off, and next time we're going to go into this room and see what we got in here, aside from a big daddy and a dead big daddy. Uh, can't take a picture of that one. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I will see you guys next time, and we're going to go in here and do stuff, and then we're going to go to other areas and do more stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then.